Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. Last video, six problems I have completed on allowances. EA entertainment allowance and house rent allowance. In this video, few more problems on allowances I'm going to explain. So before starting the seventh problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Without having the problems, you cannot understand. Always keep it ready. Take the screenshot of the points of the next few problems, then I'll explain every point in detail. Now, see the seventh one. <clears throat> Sri Surujan Kapoor is an employee of a limited company at Jamshedpur. Is in receipt of 44,000 as basic, 18,000 as dearness allowance forming part of salary for all retirement benefits. That means DA is entering for retirement benefit. And uh, 6,000 as city compensatory allowance, CCA. And rupees 8,800 as accommodation allowance. Accommodation allowance means house rent allowance. Actually, accommodation means house. So house rent allowance 8,800, 13,000 as entertainment allowance EA. He is paying the monthly rent of 1,000 and electricity bill of the house at a flat rate of 300 per month. Actually for computing this uh, HRA exemption, we don't require the payment made for electricity. That is a payment made for services received. So for calculation of HRA exemption, we don't require that payment of electricity bill. Determine the amount of HRA exemption under section 10 subsection 13a. So in this problem, we have to compute how much is the HRA exempted under section 10 subsection 13. First of all, we have to see whether SSC is paying the rent or not. Yes, the SSC is paying the rent and stays at Jamshedpur. Jamshedpur means other top. 40%. So here the SSC is paying the rent and stays at Jamshedpur, other town. So HRA is exempted to the least of the following three amounts. Actual HRA received. It is given in the problem accommodation allowance received is 8,800. That is the actual HRA received. Rent paid minus 10% of salary. So here it is given rent paid is 1,000 per month. So 1,000 into 12, 12,000 is the rent paid minus 10% of salary. Salary means basic pay 44,000 and DA 18,000. Because it is given DA enters for retirement benefit. That's why we include DA also. The basic plus DA we should take. The basic 44,000, DA 18,000, total 62,000. So 10% of 62,000, 6,200. 12,000 minus 6,200, 5,800. 40% of salary because Jamshedpur, other town. So 40% of 62,000, 24,800. The least among these three amounts is 5,800. So finally, we can say the amount uh, HRA exempted under section 10, subsection 13 is 5,800. That's all. Problem completed, seventh one. Now, eighth problem. Mr. Muhammad Yusuf Khan is an employee of a public sector unit in Hyderabad. He draws a monthly salary of 4,800 per month, house rent allowance 1,600 and dearness allowance 1,000. He is entitled to 2% commission on sales. The sales target achieved by him is rupees 5 lakh. The house rent paid by him is 1,100 per month, dearness allowance and commission enters for retirement benefit. So in this problem, salary means basic pay plus DA plus commission. In the previous problem, commission was not given. Here commission is there. So we include commission is given as a percentage on turnover. We should take. Then compute the amount of HRA to be included in salary income. That means how much is a taxable HRA and the gross income from salary. <clears throat> So first time we are going to calculate the gross income from salary also. So first of all, we decide how much is the exempted HRA. See, Muhammad Yusuf Khan, the SSC is paying the rent and stays at Hyderabad, other town. 
So HRA is exempted to the list of the following three amounts. First one, actual HRA receipt. It is given in the problem 1600 per month into 12, 19,200. Second, rent paid minus 10% of salary. It is given in the problem rent paid 1100 per month into 12, 13,200. 10% of salary. In this case, salary we compute in working note because salary includes basic plus DA plus commission. Because DA is entering into retirement benefit and commission is given as a fixed percentage on turnover. So here, basic salary 4,800 per month into 12, 57,600. And DA is 1,000 per month into 12, 12,000. And commission is 2% on sales achieved. Sales achieved 5 lakh. So 2% of 5 lakh, 10,000. So salary will be 79,600. So 10% of 79,600, 7,960. 13,200 minus 7,960, 5,240. Lastly, 40% of salary because Hyderabad staying at the top. So 40% of 79,600, 31,840. Whichever is the least among these three, so 19,200, 5,240 and 31,840. The least one is 5,240. This is exempted under section 10, subsection 30A. Now we find out the taxable HRA. So actual HRA received is 19,200. Actual HRA received. From this we deduct the exempted HRA 5,240. So deduct 5240, 13,960 is the taxable HRA. Now it is asking you to calculate the gross income from salary. So gross income from salary to compute, we take the basic. In basic, we have 4,800 4, into 12. It is 57,600. Allowances, we have uh, commission. Commission is also a part of salary. So commission is 2% of 5 lakh. That comes to 10,000. Then allowances DA, 1,000 per month into 12, 12,000. Unexempted HRA, taxable HRA is 13,960. No perquisite, no profit in lieu of salary. So total gross income from salary is 93,560. That's all. This is the end of problem number 8. Now problem number 9. Find out the amount of house rent allowance which shall be included in the income under the head salary in each of the following cases. It's a lengthy problem because ninth problem we have A, B, C, D. In each case we have to find out how much is the taxable HRA. So ninth. Computation of taxable HRA in each of the following cases. First case. See the first case. Basic pay 10,000 per month. House rent allowance 2000 per month, entertainment allowance 3000 per annum, and DNS allowance 15% basic. Actual rent paid is 2000 per month in Guntur. The SSC is paying the rent and stays at Guntur, other town. So HRA is allowed as exempted. SSC is paying the rent and stays at Guntur, so HRA is exempted to the list of the following three amounts. First one. Actual HRA received is given in the problem 2000 per month into 12, 24,000. Rent paid minus 10% of salary. The rent paid is 2000 per month. So 2000 into 12, 24,000. Here, 24,000. Rent paid minus 10% of salary. 2000 into 12, 24,000. 10% of salary. Salary means basic pay only. DA is not entering for retirement benefit. We are not taking. So 10,000 into 12, 1 lakh 20,000. 10% of 1 lakh 20,000, 12,000. 24,000 minus 12,000, you will get 12,000. Now 40% of 1 lakh 20,000 is 48,000. The least among these three is 12,000. This is exempted. Now we need the taxable. The actual HRA received 24,000 minus exempted HRA 12,000. The taxable HRA is 12,000. That's all. So A bit completed. Now B bit. What it is saying in the B bit? Basic pay 16,100 per month. DA 18%. HRA 20%. Rent paid per month in Nagpur 4,400 per month. 
So here the SSC is paying the rent and stays at Nagpur. So HRA is exempted to the list of the following three amounts. First one, actual HRA received 20% of salary. Salary is 16,100 into 12, 1,93,200. So 20% of 1,93,200, 38,640. This is the actual HRA receipt. Rent paid minus 10% of salary. Rent paid is given 4,400 per month into 12, 52,800. Minus 10% of salary. Salary is given 16,100 into 12, 1,93,200. So 52,800 minus 1,19,320. 33,480. 40% of salary, 40% of 193,200, 77,280. The least among these three is 33,480. This is the exempted HRA. Now we need the taxable HRA. The so actual HRA received 38,640 minus exempted HRA 33,480. So taxable HRA is 5,160. That's all. So BBIT completed. Now I am coming to the C bit. Monthly emoluments basic pay 7800, DA 2000, CCA 1500, house rent allowance 3000. HRA. He is paying monthly rent of 2500 in Delhi. That means metro 50%. So SSC is paying the rent and stays at Delhi. So HRA is exempted to the list of the following three. Actual HRA received 3000 per month into 12, 36,000 given in the problem. Rent paid minus 10% of salary. Rent paid 2500 into 12, 30,000. Minus 10% of 7800 into 12, 93,600. So 10% of 93,600, 9,360. 30,000 minus 9,360, 20,640. Now 50% of salary, 50% of 93,600, 46,800. The least among these three is 20,640. This is exempted. We need taxable. The so actual HRA received 36,000 minus exempted HRA 20,640. The so taxable HRA is 15,360. That's all. C bit completed. Now, last one D bit. <coughs> Yearly emoluments basic pay 280,000, HRA 63,000, DA. 90,000 entering for retirement benefit for gratuity that means DA is entering for retirement benefit so we should include basic plus DA rent paid 2500 per month it is not given where the rent is paid so we made the assumption it is paid in other town not in 4 metro the SSC is living in a other town so 40 percent so here yeah, the SSC is paying the rent and assumed to be staying in other town. So HRA is exempted to the list of the following three amounts. Actual HRA received directly given in the problem 63,000. Rent paid minus 10% of salary. Rent paid is given 2,500. 2,500 into 12, 30,000. Minus 10% of salary. Salary means basic plus DA because DA is entering for retirement benefit. So 280,000 plus 90,000, 3 lakh 70,000. 10% of 3 lakh 70,000, 37,000. So 30,000 minus 37,000, you are getting negative minus 7,000. And 40% 40 of salary, 40% of 3 lakh 70,000, 1 lakh 48,000. In the previous theory video, I have explained you if one of the item comes to zero or negative. No HRA exemption will be given. The actual HRA received is fully taxable. So in this case, one of the item is minus, minus 7,000. So HRA exemption is not allowed. The actual HRA received 63,000 is fully taxable. That's it. This is the end of problem number 9. Now next, 10th problem. Sri Jaya Janardhan Reddy working in Madurai city. Received the following emoluments during the financial year 21-22. Basic 65,000 per month. DA 21,000 per month. HRA 12,000 per month. He took accommodation in Madurai city on a monthly rent of 12,000 but not yet occupied the house and staying in father-in-law's house in the same street. Calculate the taxable portion of HRA. In the previous theory, I have explained you 
that according to the provisions of Income Tax Act, if the SSC is occupying the house, then only HRA exemption is allowed. In our present case, he has taken a house on rent. He is paying the rent, but he has not occupied the house. He is staying in father-in-law's house in the same street. So Income Tax Act says the SSC is not, has not occupied the house. So HRA exemption is not allowed. Whatever actual HRA received is fully taxable. So here, SSC is paying the rent of the house, but not yet occupied the house for his residence. Hence, no exemption is allowed. The actual HRA received 12,000 per month into 12. That is 1,44,000. This is fully taxable HRA. Huh. So, so far I have completed 10 problems on allowances. Inshallah, the next problem will continue in the next video. So if you are satisfied, give a like to the video. Share my channel among your friends, among your groups, so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge. Give your comments on these videos. Subscribe if you have not yet subscribed to my channel. And buy the super thanks which is given below my video. Inshallah, we will continue the next problem in the next video.